Squiz Kids acknowledges the traditional owners of the lands on which we podcast, the Turrbal and Combermary people. Squiz Kids! It's your daily news fix. Fun, free, fresh. Hello, fabulous Squiz Kids listeners, and welcome to the Kids vs. Adults Weekly News Squiz. Your chance to see who's had their listening ears on and been paying the most attention to the week that just was. I'm Bryce Corbett. All week in the Squiz Kids Today podcast, we've been bringing you the big news stories of the day, run through our kid-friendly filter to make sure you know all you need to know about the world around you. Now it's time to test how much of the week's news you've retained. And in the process, see who's smarter, kids or adults. Plus, of course, because it's a Friday, we've got all today's birthday shout-outs and all the shout-outs for the weekend ahead. Including, of course, the birthday reggae tune. Because it wouldn't be a Friday without it. So, here's how the quiz works. Five questions for the kids about the weekend news, then five questions for adults. Whoever answers the most correct questions wins. Easy. You ready? Let's do this. All right, kids, here are your five questions. Question number one. We heard in the podcast yesterday how Adelaide Zhu would play host to a visit this weekend by Chinese Premier Li Kuang, who is dropping by to visit two of the zoo's famous residents. A pair of what sort of animal? And these animals are famously from China, and they're renowned for eating bamboo. Yeah, of course, I'm talking about pandas. Question number two. Ariane Titmus broke a world record this week as she competed in Olympic trials in Brisbane. For which sport? Well done if you said swimming. Question number three. In the podcast this week, Squizzy the News Hound sniffed out a series of fake photos posted to YouTube recently. Photos pretending to show which famed animal from Tasmania, which went extinct 87 years ago. They're quite tough, these questions this week, aren't they? Did you say Tasmanian tiger? Well done. Question number four. Which film, a sequel, starring the human emotions sadness, anger, fear and, of course, joy, was released in Australia this week? Take a bow if you said Inside Out 2. Question number five. In the podcast yesterday, we learned about volcanoes three times the height of Mount Everest existing on which red planet in our solar system? Yeah, of course, it's Mars. How did you go, kids? How many did you get right out of five? And do you think that's going to be enough to beat the adults? I'm hoping so. All right, adults, now it's your turn. Let's fire up the old grey matter. Here we go. Question number one. While swimming champ Ariane Titmus won the hotly contested 200-metre freestyle Olympic trial race in Brisbane on Thursday night, wow, that's a mouthful, a world record in the race was also broken by which fellow Queensland swimmer? Well done if you said Molly O'Callaghan. Question number two, and still in the pool, where Kai Taylor, the son of which Olympic swimming great, made the cut for his very first Olympics? Yes, of course, it's Hayley Lewis's son. Question number three, who won the men's singles title last Sunday night at the French Open? Yeah, it was the Spaniard Carlos Alcaraz. Question number four. Animal welfare protesters in London this week plastered a cartoon character's head over the face of a King Charles portrait. Which cartoon character was it? That's right, it was Wallace from Wallace and Gromit. Question number five. Which Australian state this week delivered its budget... And has a state election coming up in October. Congrats if you said Queensland. 
How did you go, adults? How many did you get right? Did you beat the kids? Who has won bragging rights this week? Now, if you've missed any of these cool news stories throughout the week and you want to refresh your memory, all of this week's Squiz Kids episodes are available for a re-listen wherever you get your podcasts. That's the end of the quiz, which means it's now time for... Shout outs. It's Friday, June 14. Today marks the start of the Hajj, the annual pilgrimage to Mecca, a very important event on the Muslim calendar. It's also International Bath Day, so soak in one today if you can. It's also a special day for these Squiz Kids celebrating a birthday today and over the coming weekend. And because it's a Friday and there's plenty of you, let's crack out that old birthday reggae tune. Hit it! It's happy birthday to Vivan from Oran Park, Orla from Manly Vale, Nimrit from Gables, Hannah from Upper Mount Gravatt, Caleb from West Pennant Hills, Nicholas from Warren Ponds, Eva from New Gisborne, Joni from Unandera, Jay from Yass, Sandy from Middle Harbour, Christina from Forest Lake, I better stop and take a breath, Jaden from Mossman Park, Fraser from Townsville, Oscar from Hornsby, Leilani from Avoca Beach, Estelle from Golgong, Ellie and Rosie from Oxford Falls, Tully from Appen, gosh there's so many of you, Jimmy from Aldinga Beach, Charlie from Wallabadar, Atticus from Doncaster, Dean from Geraldton, Charlie and Hamish from Toowoomba, and finally, Lily from New Gisborne. And belated birthday wishes today go to Tanner from Cannon Hill and Shelby from Talem Bend. Well, that's all we have time for. I hope you're enjoying these quizzes. Don't forget there'll be a new one dropping first thing every Friday morning. And the best bit, they're absolutely free. Just as our other excellent content is free too. We're talking to Squiz Kids today, news podcast on Mondays, Wednesdays and Thursdays, a Squiz Kids shortcut or a Squiz the World every Tuesday. And for all the teachers out there, there's the Classroom Companion, our teacher-produced classroom activity sheets, curriculum aligned and tied to the Daily Pod on Mondays. And whose entire back catalogue is now searchable via our website. Genius. Check it all out at squizkids.com.au or simply subscribe to Squiz Kids in your favourite podcasting app and all this audio content will magically appear. For now, this is Bryce Corbett signing off and reminding you all to get out there and have a most excellent day. Over and out. <laughs>